Uh, I want to make love to you the way that you know that you deserve to be made love to. Rewind. <laughs> and I know, I know fellas are sitting there like, what the fuck is this? Like, I'm, you're not making love to me, what are you talking about? And it's funny because I was asked to do this poem for a young lady on stage once and then like, as soon as I finished, his brother was like, yo, but it's my birthday too. And it was like, and I didn't have a poem for him. <laughs> So fellas, right, imagine like this is you doing the poem for your lady. And in fact, I don't even live in West Palm. I don't live in South Florida, so you could actually buy the CD, memorize the shit, and say you wrote it. It comes with the CD. It's the fucking gift that keeps on giving. Uh, I want to make love to you the way that you know that you deserve to be made love to. And, and you can judge by the way that I hug you so firmly that all your inner muscles work to push one more trouble along your thighs. Mm. And I, y'all like that? Yeah. And I massage your neck until your entire body gets so wet that you begin to feel sweat build up along your back and water in your eyes. And the way that you'll know that it's right is when your nipples become harder than your life is. <laughs> And your bowels comes undone, and we begin to transfer energy slowly back and forth between your breast and my tongue, and your knees get numb, and stomach muscles succumb, and you close your eyes like you ain't never closed them for no one, and ain't nothing wrong you feel the urge to come while your pants are still on. Uh -oh. <laughs> I mean, the stage's seventh anniversary is the best place to be on earth right now. And, and after I undress and lay down, I'm going to whisper poems in your ear at frequencies so beautiful that only your clitoris could hear. Oh, wow. 